But that grace is not cheap. We must ask God to give us true repentance. And I'm therefore calling on all of us in Kenya to make Jamhuri Days next month a special day of prayer in which we call upon God to change our hearts, forgive us our sins, and deliver us from evil of corruption and greed. Let it not be a day of complacency or accusing others, but a day when we pray for our republic that God in his infinite mercy will restore us so that the glory of Kenya, the fruit of our labor, may indeed fill every heart with thanksgiving. If we are serious in fighting corruption, we need to separate our individual uh, being with, from the offices that we hold. I think that um, we can lose the fight against corruption if we personalize it. We need to concentrate on the principles, on the main um, institutional setup that we have had, we have put up in place, and make use of them to help us fight corruption. Let us uh, remove personal interests in this war against corruption. We need the repentance of heart. The idea of corruption is actually from the heart. And if every Kenyan, in whatever station of life, turned to God, because we say Kenya is a religious country, and our values are religious values, that means that if we exercise our religious values, then we can turn away from our sin of corruption and greed and serve others as God intends us to do. And therefore, in that spirit of forgiveness and of repentance, we can do like one who did in the Bible. What he did was he returned all that he had taken from the public without being forced to do so. And if we do that, we shall save this country a lot of money of taking people to courts, which is a very expensive thing. Let us be patriotic and voluntarily begin to turn our lives to God and also our country to a country that is respected by the world.